Hey everybody, we're going to take a little while and talk about the wonderful world of dial and digital calipers. This may get you to go, hooray, but most likely not. Okay, we're going to start off with this right here. This is a dial caliper. Um, this is an incredibly accurate measuring device. It'll allow us to accurate pretty much uh, to a thousandth of an inch. Now let's first start with identifying some parts. This right here that I'm turning. This enables you, when you press down on it, to open and close the jaws. You can see the dials turning around right here. Now most likely this is going to inspire you to start playing with it. Don't do this. This is a very accurate machine. Open and close it slowly. Don't play with it. Okay, so this enables us to open and close. Up here, you have a lock screw. So if you open it to a measurement and you want to make sure to maintain that measurement, you tighten that slightly and you can't turn it any longer. Loosen that, you can open and close it. Now you'll notice this right here is a dial and the glass piece is called a bezel. One of the first things that you have to do when you actually go to take a measurement is what's called zero it out. So you're going to open it, just wipe off any dust. Um, because believe it or not, dust or any gunk on the jaws can actually influence your measurement. Then you're going to close it, just like so. You don't want to put too much pressure, but you want to make sure that the jaws are completely closed. By loosening this right here, you're able to move the dial around. You want to make sure your dial is exactly at zero when your jaws are closed. Then you're going to tighten this clamp screw right here so that what's called maintains the zero. Okay, so our calipers are now zeroed out. That way, anything we put in here is going to give us an accurate, accurate measurement and anything that we open up in here will give us an accurate measurement as well. Now there's three ways that you can measure something on calipers. You can put something in the jaws right here. You can open the jaws right there and you also have this piece called a depth rod where you can measure the depth of something. So let's talk about how to actually read some dial calipers first and foremost. In this dial, every incrementation, every line is one thousandth of an inch. So if I open it to that right there, you can probably barely see that the jaws are open. That is one thousandth of an inch right there. Now when you write this, it looks something like that. Point zero zero one or one thousandth of an inch. If I open my jaws to the next number right there, oops, there we go, that is two thousandths of an inch. Again the jaws are just barely open and writing that it looks like that, two thousandths of an inch. If I open it to this much right here, that is ten thousandths of an inch and that is written just like so. Once I go one revolution all the way around, that is one hundred thousandths. Now this is important. Down here, that is a scale. And you can see that I crossed into the one. Let me open it up a little bit wider. You can see that it has one, two, three, four. This corresponds to a hundred thousands, two hundred thousands, three hundred thousands, four hundred thousands. So right here, if I open it so that it just is on the one and that's zeroed out, that is one hundred thousandths of an inch. Written, that is, boom, right there. One hundred thousandths of an inch. If I were to open it to 125 thousandths of an inch, it is something like that, right there. 100, because it crossed over the 1, 25, 125 thousandths of an inch. And it's written just like that. Uh, if I cross over to the 2 and say go 212 thousandths, Okay, I crossed over the two. I'm at 12, 200, 12 thousandths of an inch. Now, also in this, it goes by inches. 
this is tenths of an inch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths. So that's different from your normal ruler where we do sixteenths or thirty seconds. This is in tenths of an inch or decimals. Uh, if I open it past the one right here, so this is one inch, and I go to one point three two five, that is one point three two five inches or uh, one inch and three hundred twenty five thousandths. We can do this with just about any measurement. So I went past two inches right there. There's uh, two point or two inches and a hundred thousandths, and so on and so forth. Now, when we're actually measuring something with this, um, say we're measuring the external diameter, the way that this works is you clamp it just like so. Now notice I'm not doing this in the back of the jaws. You don't want to do the back of the jaws because that won't give you an accurate reading. You want to do just the tip of the jaws. So if I measure this diameter of the pen, I am at 333.5 thousands. So 3 because it crossed over. Uh, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, about 4.5. Four so 3. 345, or excuse me, 0.345, um, right there. So we can read that as uh, 335, I'll round up, thousandths of an inch. If I wanted to measure the external of a block right here, same thing, just clamp down, and it is 7, because it crossed over the 7, 753 thousandths of an inch or 0.753. Now you can also use this to measure the internal of something. So let's say I have this glue stick cap right here. I can use the internal jaws and open it up right in the middle and get uh, one inch because it crossed over the one, uh, 1.25. So it is one inch and 125 thousandths of an inch. I can also use the depth measurement right here. Uh, this might be difficult to show on film, but I'll open this up and the depth will hit the bottom just like so. Then I can measure it and the depth of this is one point or one inch because it crossed over and it is uh, 0.89 so one uh, inch and um, 0 0.089. So measure internal, measure external, and measure depth. Now also you have what's called digital calipers. This is a set of digital calipers. It's different because it doesn't have the dial. The dial is the traditional. It's been out for a long time. The digital is fairly new in technology. To use digital calipers, you turn it on and you have to pick what you're doing. If you're doing inches, it'll say IN for inches. If you're doing uh, inches fractional, if you're doing metric, uh, we're going to go with inches. Now the digital caliper is a heck of a lot easier to actually measure because it just tells you the measurement. Um, if I want to, well let me zero this out, slide it to zero, you hit zero, register 0, 0.000. All I have to do right here is measure it and it tells me that at is 0 0.3355 or 335 thousandths of an inch. If I want to do the internal of something, it's the exact same thing that we did before, 1.1070. If I want to do the depth of something, it's the exact same thing, but now I don't have to actually read um, the dial. These style digital calipers are a heck of a lot easier to read. The only downfall is the battery. If the battery dies, you're pretty well out of luck. Okay, stop this video, rewind, and replay. Uh, make sure that you understand how to read both dial and uh, digital calipers. Make sure that you know how to read these and pronounce these measurements. And stop this video, rewind, replay with any questions that you have.